What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Is this the last year for Call of Duty? Is Call of Duty going to flop? Is it going to fail? Everybody's rumor speculating about this, especially because they saw the VG charts. Now I will link you to the VG charts in the video description if you guys care to take a look at it. I'll display the numbers that they're talking about on the screen right now. Right now we're sitting at 33,000 and 14 pre-orders for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the PlayStation 4. And compare that to last year's pre-orders around the same time. It's uh, last year's pre-orders were 10 times more. Last year for Black Ops 3, it was sitting at over 300,000 pre-orders. Now, Call of Duty's uh, sold over millions of copies for Black Ops 3, uh, but pre-orders is something that companies look at. And especially uh, game stores like GameStop or Best Buy or even Target, they count on those pre-orders to actually see how many people are gonna be interested in buying the game. And then that's what they decide on how many um, games to stock on their shelves and all that good juicy stuff. Now, pre-orders, is really not the way to look at is Call of Duty dying because pre-orders are declining in general if you guys look at uh, the pre-orders compared to previous years it's declining and not a lot of gamers are you know feel confident in pre-ordering games a lot of people actually just buy it once the game gets released and they see uh, some more gameplay on YouTube or that you know they hear more about it, read more reviews. A lot of people are, are, aren't are uh, jumping on, picking up the game the first night it comes out. Uh, that's not to say a lot of people don't because there's a lot of people that still do. I'm just saying that it's declining. And uh, what also is declining is pre-orders. Uh, pre-orders, not a lot of, you know, not a lot of people uh, feel like there's any type of incentive in pre-ordering um sure some stores have certain uh, pre-order bonuses quote unquote but in the past couple of years it, it hasn't been that great i re i remember like back in the day you used to pre-order uh lego games and you get a lego figurine but that was awesome that was worth you know putting my five dollars down and pre-ordering um you know, we still see this from time to time, and they still throw out free maps and different things like that, where you'll get a poster. Um, but all in all, a lot of people are actually like, you know what, I'm done with pre ordering. They're not going to get my money until I see the final product. That's the way gamers are thinking these days. And I don't think that a lot of people actually realize that. And that's kind of what I wanted to discuss today. So definitely let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this matter in the comment section below. Do you think Call of Duty's dying? Do you think it's on its downslope? Um, do you think it's going to kick back up? What do you guys think about Infinite Warfare set in the future? Uh, set in space a lot of people have been wanting boots on the ground and Activision's uh, grand scheme of things and the big idea was to have COD 4 remastered for those of you that want boots on the ground and then uh, a shiny new game for the newer generation of COD players because I feel like uh, Call of Duty is kind of getting redundant for a lot of people including myself I mean I still find myself from time to time getting the call of duty itch you know you you're, you're itching what was that kid doing <laughs> i just knifed his back but you get that itch like oh i want to play call of duty um but it's not the same for me at least i don't know you guys will definitely let me know in the comment section below um but with the way that the game's changed and maybe feeling redundant in a lot of ways um i kind of find myself playing other games and i think that is actually awesome because for a phase in in, in my uh, gaming life, I can honestly say, and I'm ashamed of it, but I can honestly say, like, during the Black Ops 1 days, I played that game almost exclusively, and I didn't touch any other game. And I missed out on so much that I'm now going back and playing because 
all I had in my head was Call of Duty. I'm going to play multiplayer, I'm going to play zombies, and that is all I thought about. Um, and that's what a lot of us think about. Like, when you get into that Call of Duty phase, it's like eat, breathe, sleep, dream. Call of Duty, and and that's how it is for a lot of people, and then and then you kind of get uh, over it, and then you graduate to other games. Um, that's not to say you don't come back to, uh, you know, Call of Duty because I still do. Like I said, I get the itch from time to time, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go play. Um, but it's not the same as uh, maybe before. So again, I'm going to be curious as to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this matter in the comments section below. Uh, of course, we will probably see an incline in pre-order sales once I just killed myself. What that crap? We'll see uh, an incline in pre-order sales once we see multiplayer reveal. Um, and I'm pretty sure if they sell COD 4 separately, then we will definitely see a decline in sales for the newest Call of Duty. They'll probably sell more remastered. What was I doing there? They'll probably sell more remastered copies of an older game than an actually brand new shiny new game. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to throw that out there because a lot of people are, are rumor and speculating over VG charts. Now VG charts is pretty awesome because you get to to kind of look at where the numbers stack up and see where everything's at but they're not always accurate dudes and dudettes so we can't always count on vg charts or any other listing especially if it's a listing coming from a game uh a game company or a game store you know we'll just have to wait and see once multiplayer gets revealed We'll probably have to wait and see until the game gets released as well because not too many people are going to be pre-ordering this game. I guarantee you. But if they see um, things that they like, then they're probably going to buy it. So again, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. Is that guy doing the karate? Anyways, um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next news update enough of me rambling on right right i don't know if you stayed up until this time hashtag ninja